Hello and welcome to Algo Test. Today we are going to talk about a new feature in our back testing that we have introduced and it is called overall momentum. What it is, what it means, let's find out. So let's start. So this is our dashboard and uh, we are going to go and create a new strategy. And over here you would have seen a new feature that has been enabled. What it is, how to use it and when best to use it is something we will discuss today. So what is the feature? Let's figure it out first. So let's say the entry time for your strategy is 920 and the strike selection criteria is closest premium 100. All right. Based on that, let's suppose that the two strikes that have been selected are the 25,000 call at 100 rupees and 24,800 put at 95 rupees. Now, these are the prices at the entry time. So what the system will do is add up these two premiums, 195, and then would put a momentum which you have defined onto it. Let's say you have said that I want to sell these strikes only and only when their combined premium reduces by 10 rupees. So the idea is basically whenever theta decay comes in the market, that is when you're going to sell. So if after 920, the combined premium of this triangle increases from 195 to say 200, the system will wait and wait till your momentum price comes. Let me show you how. Say the overall momentum is down 10 points, then it will wait entry price will equal less than equal to 185. So whenever the combined premium of this triangle reduces by 10 rupees and is below 185 rupees, that is when the system is going to sell this triangle. Again, very important. Now your question would be, when is it checking for this? It is checking at every candle close. The back tester is only checking this at every candle close. Now, let me give you an example. See, at 920, the price is 195. At 921, it is 205. And at 922, it is 180. This at 922 is when your entry will be triggered. All right. We, the back tester is only and only checking the combined premium at the close of the candle. All right. Having said that, let's see how to use this feature. So I'll make a simple non-directional strategy. All right. And the idea would be to gain the entire day's theta. So I'll be in the market for the entire day from 916 to uh, 329. Uh, I will sell a straddle with a 80% stop loss. And I shall trail SL to break even. All right. This is just a very simple non-directional strategy. You can use any other strategies to use this feature. This I'm using just to demonstrate this strategy. So let me backtest it for the last one year. So I will be demonstrating it with using overall momentum feature and without using the overall momentum feature. All right. So <clears throat> these are the stats for the last one year. Overall profit is around 1,70,000. It doesn't matter because we would like to see how this changed if I put this momentum feature to it. So the momentum feature is simply 30 points down. What my idea with it is only and only enter a position when both the premiums have reduced and the combined premium of the straddle has reduced by 30 points. All right. It's as simple as that. Rather than triggering my entry based on time, 
I am triggering my entry based on time as well as a decay in premiums. So let us run the back test. And obviously, we're going to compare it to our previous results. All right. You can definitely see that the drawdown, which was initially 38,000, has reduced to 24,000. All right. The average profit is similar. The overall profit has definitely reduced. But due to this reduction in max drawdown, your return over max drawdown has increased. I am also sure if we look at the number of trades during the year, this one traded on 215 days. And let's see the previous one without the momentum that would have traded on every day. 248 so there were around 30 days of trade that were skipped due to this momentum feature so i have found this feature very useful in optimizing my trade especially a lot of my non-directional strategies where i enter only and only when where there is some sort of premium decay and i do not essentially want to enter purely based on time i hope you would use this feature extensively to look at the corner cases and how we do the calculation, you should check out the docs. You can check out the docs by hovering over this overall momentum icon and clicking on learn more, which will direct you to all the cases and how we have handled them. So let me go over this in summary. Let's say you want to sell a 25,000 call and a 24,800 put. The combined premium at your entry time is 195 and you have placed an overall momentum points down of 10 rupees so the entry of this triangle will only and only happen when the combined premium of these two strikes has reduced to 185 rupees all right how does the back tester check the back tester checks this only and only on candle close so at 9.20, it was at 1.95, 9.21, let's say it was at 2.05 and at 9.22, if it's at 1.80 or below 1.85, it'll take the entry. But in live, again, you have the ability to either choose LTP or candle close. LTP will check this condition every second, whereas candle close will check it every 59th second of a minute i hope you really like this feature and will use it extensively to improve and optimize your strategies we will be bringing more such features in the future till that time please like and subscribe and as always if you have any doubts regarding this feature you can always reach out to us on our telegram group thank you and see you next time